than the other. We now join that match into the final quarter with the Kiwis leading a disappointing England by 20. Ten minutes left in this match. England trail by 20. It's 48-28. They went with New Zealand through the second quarter. It was nine goals apiece. New Zealand started to take control again in the third. And 20 goals in a low-scoring match with 10 minutes to go is going to be plenty, Anne. Yes, New Zealand, uh, the dominant one tonight. We were expecting a margin, perhaps this wide, but it hasn't been all impressive from New Zealand. I think uh, Australia and Jamaica will probably sit back and think, yes, we can beat this team. Punched out by Fiona Murta. Wing defence for England. He's doing a little two-step in the corner there. But again, Hodson steps away from the goal line to get the ball in. England win it, though. Fogarty, Fairweather, who's come on in this last quarter for Alison Keat as the new centre for England. Brian. Dillimore out to Tamanu. Hodson. Lever, who replaced Carter. She puts the fake up to draw the jump, but all she draws is a held ball call from Maureen Boyle. Jesslyn Parks to Murta. And Stow under pressure from Tamanu. New Zealand draw the throw in. Tamanu to Wall. Eight minutes left. The lead is still 20. We look at the results from the series that New Zealand played with England earlier this year, and they were low-scoring games. England, uh, New Zealand never getting above 60. So I guess we shouldn't be surprised that uh, it hasn't been a high-scoring game. No, and that's a compliment to the defence from both teams that the score is kept low and implies that there's a pressure getting into the circle. And certainly it shouldn't be a runaway. have the number one and number three seeds in the championships playing off in the semi-final. Australia and Jamaica waiting in the wings to decide the second berth. Australia may have started this tournament as favourites, but as the fortnight went on, New Zealand gathered momentum. It started to look a bit awesome. Perhaps, if anything, Australia would be encouraged by the fact that England, in patches, have, have held the Kiwis. Yes, I think it has been encouraging for Australia to watch this match. Uh, the world champs can make errors like everybody else and have uh, let the pressure off on several occasions during the game. Kendra Lowe, the England captain, to Fairweather. I guess the point is, Steve, New Zealand will be in the final and Australia have yet to get there. Fogarty. Still the lead is 20. Lever. be interesting to people watching international netball to know that after uh, nine or ten games the starting seven for uh, the top two or three sides is still not settled but uh, New Zealand has still faced this problem with uh, do they put in legal or Carter Australia's seven has been open to conjecture for a lot of the fortnight Under six minutes to go, 49-29, England trail. Well, it's hard to, I guess, uh, draw satisfaction from an effort when uh, it's still going to be the game that puts you out of the World Championship, but England, as we've mentioned, times have looked the goods. Brian, Stout, and Fogarty. Oh, that pass was threaded through nicely. Splitting Tamanu and Dillymore. 
Brian doing well to keep it in. Brian finishing strongly with six from seven. And in the, the break, Tamanu laying down the law for New Zealand. I'm sure she'll want to finish strongly in the last five minutes of this semi-final. Well, the English defence trying desperately to make that a lever sandwich. Leone Lever will get the penalty pass or shot. No doubt she'll choose the shot. Doesn't drop for her, though. Hey. Kendra Lowe backing it out to the last. Hey. Vantage contact outside. Vantage offside, centre. Edge. This is unimpressive from New Zealand. Seven apiece in this final quarter. I would have expected them to run away with it. And where was this England defensive effort in the first ten minutes, Anne? Watching. <laughs> Earl. Easy to be critical, I suppose, of New Zealand for parts of their play, but they're still going to win it by 20-odd. They've done what they had to. And let's make the final. Under four minutes to go. And I guess it's just natural for people to weigh up fours and against and who's looking the better, <laughs> but it's going to come down to how people wake up tomorrow, the morning of the final, and who plays better netball in that one match. Tamanu. Edge. Earl. Hodson. Holding call against Parks. Use of the arm to keep New Zealand off the ball. Both out. Both out reluctantly. <laughs> Three minutes left. And that's a couple back to back for the Kiwis. They want to make it three. Lever to Earl. lead at three-quarter time was 18. It's 20 now. The pass over the top. Well time to lever. Fogarty. Fair weather. Bogarty working a 1-2 with Stow. Two minutes to go. Joan Bryan. And New Zealand having trouble building on that lead of 20. Edge. From Invercargill. Spent most of her life in the North Island of New Zealand. Well played, Tracy Earl. <laughs> she didn't <laughs> like the pass. And Tracy Earl will shake her head at this pass from Lever, who puts it right off the baseline. Earl hauls it in, uses the other hand for the shot. Edge, another long ball to Earl. <laughs> Can't keep it in this time. Let alone shoot. Jesslyn Parks. With a minute and 15 seconds to go, New Zealand are going to be into the final to defend the championship they won in Glasgow four years ago. Fair weather. Fogarty. Stow. Bryan. Dilly Moore the rebound. Intercept from Murta. Fair weather. Credit to England, they're battling it right down to the last whistle, which isn't far away, I can tell you. And the crowd has been absolutely delighted by a couple of Myrtle's challenges in this final quarter. The whistle wall for New Zealand. And New Zealand won't match Australia's win against England, but uh, it doesn't really mean much. The margin doesn't matter, they've found that final. 
New Zealand undefeated through this tournament. Nine round robin games in a semi-final. Timekeeper gets up, Joan Bryan to Fogarty. Joan Bryan. Tamaru the rebound. Wall. And time is blown by Maureen Boyle. And there it is, 53-33.